I just took a look in there. I definitely need my light. Oh my god. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! So this is a good time to record as any. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. Always a good place to start. I'm going on the Halloween hike, yo, and it has been a while. It did give me a bit of a... I need to do a bit of extra gun buddy to myself to wake up um, and get this stuff going. But it's like, once I get going, it's beautiful. So the most difficult part is just getting up. Everybody, just get up and get out. Once you get out, it's fine. Everything beforehand, ignore it and just go. So here I am on a Halloween hike here. It's a bit of an odd journey, <laughs> but who's, we're all fans of odd journeys, but it's nice to kind of be out of Tokyo for a bit and just be dicking around <laughs> abandoned stuff again. So happy Halloween and all that stuff. I'm really excited because it's a proper Halloween this year. And um, I've been meaning to go to this place for a while now. And finally, I get to go here. Finally. Okay, I'm just gonna restart this because it's a guy with a little bug. One thing that gives me life, it's actually cool. The humidity is finally fucked off so I can actually enjoy wearing hoodies. Yay. And just being comfortable and knee socks. It's knee sock season, baby. So this is a hotel that I've been wanting to check out for a long time. And thank you very much to my tail squad for helping to choose which destination to go to for my Haikyuu Halloween this year. This is an abandoned love hotel. And since we've got some time while I'm walking, there is a backstory. The reason I have avoided it for so long uh, is because I haven't really done many haunted haikyos. There was that Hotel of Suicides, which was odd, and there was the abandoned cemetery, That was also very odd. Um, so this abandoned love hotel, the backstory apparently is that it was a love hotel that changed into a restaurant, and the restaurant you could catch live fish. Because unfortunately, there was a murder, and there was a murder that happened. And it was a high school girl that was shoved into a fridge. And they found her in there, and that is the backstory. I don't really know the rest of the specific details, but I think that's all you really need to know. The place is apparently still standing. I don't know what state it's in. So that's where we're going. We're gonna find out today. Abandoned, apparently people see things. It's called a psychic spot, is what they like to call them in Japan. I don't know how I feel about that stuff, but we'll see if you, when I'm editing footage, if there's anything. So uh, let's go on a haunted hike out today, everybody. Woo. hotel aka turn into a live fish caching restaurant and um, it looks very derelict but in my opinion they're the kind of haikyos that I prefer that have character this doesn't look like an ominous staircase in any way <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm a little bit nervous about this one just because it's really old and you can see I think there was actually a fire here at some point which really does not help matters when it comes to structural integrity so I'm gonna see if I can actually get up to the second floor because the stairs do seem intact but who knows at this point oh my god there's such a vibe here uh, ooh, ooh. I just took a look in there I definitely need my light oh my god let's do this tail squad
it really doesn't help matters that since this is a love hotel, it is very soundproof. And usually when you're in a Japanese building, they are not soundproof. Wow, so these are the whole fucking room downstairs. Okay, looks like I still have a bed in it though. And so it just sounds so quiet in here. <sighs> Ain't gonna lie, am I doing a shake? Doing a shake, also doing step tests wherever I go. But this top floor does seem pretty secure despite. Okay, so I just came, oh, fucking hell. I just came from down here. That ceiling looks great. Came from down that way. So I think let's start off with each room as we go. Let's start off with this one because this looks like it has a cool view. All right. So let's start with the upstairs and work our way down. As much as I, that hallway, man, that hallway, as much as I don't want to go back in there, but I also want to go back in there. Um, we're going to go back down this hallway and we're going to go to each room. We're going to do the upstairs and then we're going to do the downstairs. I think that's the best way to go because it seems like most of the rooms are upstairs since it seems like one of those old school drive-in no-tell motels. And now that I've sussed most of the area out, I can be safe to talk freely. <laughs> so let's go check out all the rooms, shall we, everybody? See who's behind door number one. You're gonna watch my face while I just check that the floor is okay. Okay, we've got a bathroom, we've got a toilet. But I doubt we're gonna have any furnishings this time around in this little hotel. This floor is a bit squishy and creaky. This place must have been a bit epic in its day. I have seen some photographs of like when it was first abandoned and oh yes, oh yes, once again. Pretty nice bath though. Completely smashed off the door. How do people even manage this? It must make such a noise. I love this though. Woo! Hi everybody. It really doesn't help that because I'm walking around now, the structures of the building are creaking. So in these old school of hotels, this is, your car would be parked down there and then you come up here and you grab your key and you enter the room. And that is the room. There's a remnants of something in here. Oh, we still got a mini bed, almost. So much broken glass everywhere. This is why you wear good shoes for urbex and people. For broken glass and nails. Tokyo Tama. It's actually kind of small. <laughs> Ooh, velvet is still up there. Look at this door. How do they do that? There's crowbars, but holy crap, people. Oh, so this is where you'd probably have your lunch shoved through. There are still some uh, love hotels that are like this. Checking the corridor again. Oh, the toilet's still in here. Entrance way to the light. I forgot that I'm on in here. <laughs> I love the shape of the windows. 
Oh, it has like a bar and everything. Oh my god, people. Seems like people have tried to leave some kind of pattern, but who's to say? Smiley face. <laughs> Ooh, round tub. I'm really not a fan of that wallpaper. God damn. God damn. I like a balcony. And this one, this looks like it might actually have a good bed in it. How? There's got to be multiple people doing this. There's no way one person can eat that down there. Oh, look, a penis. <laughs> Want some cigarettes, anybody? Ooh, purple. We've got a prince bed. Purple rain, purple rain. Still got somewhat, oh, there's a toilet. Most of the mirror left. Oh, I like this bath. Okay, I'm okay with this room. Still not a fan of the wallpaper, but what shape are you meant to be? <laughs> what, has someone stolen the motor? Oh my God, that's a, that's a very UK thing, I think, like stealing the electric bits of things. We've got a clear exit on this one. It's just like they see a wall and they just, they just smash it. All right then. It's like, you know what I like? Punch walls. Oh, we've got a vending machine. Hell yeah. And uh, I guess this used to be a TV cabinet or the air conditioning. <laughs> There's a little tiny bath. Little tiny bath. There must have been something else in here. <laughs> I bet there's nothing left in here. Nah. Okay. Got another one of these things. <laughs> Can I even get in here? Please do. Open him up. Look at that. I really don't like how shadows play tricks on you in these kind of places. 99%. Look, we got a bed. Yay! With a door. Two doors. <laughs> Oops, still got some of the lanterns at least. Not fun of these tiny little jacuzzis. I guess these are the medium price jacuzzis. Ooh, purple room. Is this, oh my god, it is. It's shag. <laughs> Got a shag. Shag. This just looks like the air conditioning system. Where? Where? <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Look at this, all the, all the weeds growing through. What is with the wall? The tiles. I bet they're expensive tiles too, but they're just so awful. does one do this to a door? At least, look, that's what the door's made of. <laughs> How? Okay, let's be a bit careful in this one. Oh, okay, so this is obviously on fire at some point. Holy crap. Damn. This is why you don't release the locations of places. It does look cool, though. <gasps> I'm okay. With that, it's kind of like a, a B colour scheme. Oh my god. It looks like this one is even worse for fire. I am going to be very careful in here. Holy shit. I think they literally just set the bed on fire. But it looks like, oh my god. You can still smell it too. Holy crud. Okay, 
Well, carefully, carefully. So, <laughs> family chicken, <laughs> family chick wrapper in there. Look at this door. Holy crap, I've never seen that before. The tile will come off. Like, how? What do you do, people? Okay. Oh, there's still some wallpaper, but no bed. Oh, this is a leaflet for when it was open. Wow, cool. Okay, so this is when it was a restaurant. Ooh, that looks... Oh, all of them look really good. <laughs> look, and they can catch fishies. That is my tummy rumbling. I know. Another vending machine. We got a bed! Yay! What is that? A total of four beds? <laughs> this one's almost intact. Almost. Still got the shag. Yep, <laughs> it is a little. It's my kind of wallpaper. <laughs> I like it very much. Let's go look in the bathroom. Oh, they tried to make a pattern. The weird shaped bath once again. Oh my god, we've still got some blinds. <gasps> okay, so we've got like four ish beds. Oh, and randomly Egyptian themed hieroglyphic wallpaper. Ooh. I love you very much. There's the ribbons of the door. <laughs> oh, that's me, everybody. Okay, let's start with the bathroom first. Why not? Ooh. Okay, I like the color of this bath. Cleaned up. It looks like it's a shiny red. Just why these colour schemes? Why? Sex. <laughs> so apparently they want to have sex. Apparently. I like this room because it's well lit. this room. It's spacious too. I wonder what the bed in this one was like. I love sex. Sex love. <laughs> Don't we all? Ominous view from here. I think this is another room over here that has been set alight by looks of things. Fucking hell, this is ominous as shit. Maybe this was like the office or something. Nope. It's definitely a room, but what the hell happened in this one? You see, the problem that I have is that I don't know where, when this apparent fridge is. <laughs> where, when? Where this apparent fridge is. It does seem that this is probably another fire room. Man, oh, there's some floor stuff. What's going on here? Looks like registers as to when people check in and check out. So maybe this was the office, but there's, there's a jacuzzi in here. I am confused. Let's look in the bathroom. Oh shit, I keep tripping on things. Wow. All well, the tiles have been smashed in this one. So I came from there, I went down there, I've checked all the rooms down here, and it's kind of about lunchtime, so I go into what I want to call the sex room. <laughs> Just because it's the most aerated. When you're urbexing, um, 
you know, in these old buildings, especially if they've been caught on fire, I think. So I feel like I want to eat in the most aerated room that has a nice, pleasant view. And, you know, I love sex. I love sex in it. <laughs> so let me show you what I got for lunch today because I've actually got something quite nice. I changed my mind because I want something to sit on. And <laughs> this is the only bed intact. I feel this is the best room. So today I got myself a, a Denshu Bento. So those, I stopped off at quite a big train station. So I got myself a Taxi Dom Bento. And it looked really nice on the Oh my god, there's so much here. Holy shit, that's got a whole pig. I don't know if I can eat all that. I'm excited though. I'm excited. And I am quite hungry. <laughs> mm. got quite a proper luncheon today. Look at that. It's like the size of my face. That was definitely worth it. Alright. Let's get a bit of this. Hit the ducky mall. Mmm. Oh, that's all she is. Fuck. Mmm. Mmm. So now that I've actually seen the place and seen some of the rooms, I'm not worried really about anything. It's just another derelict building. <laughs> I might think differently when I see the downstairs, but so far I'm like, it's just an abandoned love hotel. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Unlike most people that visited here, I do take my trash home. <laughs> just cause there's trash here, doesn't mean you should trash it. So if you're going to a bixing, please take your shit home. So it would be pretty amazing to think what this was like. The fact that it has shared carpeting, it's pretty cool. would have come into the rooms and I always think that's kind of cool because there might be like a cool paid entrance theme. So let's take a peek and there's going to be the entrance and stuff here. This is where I came in. Yes, this is where I entered. Yep, yeah, this is going to be like the entrance way I guess. I don't think these are rooms down here and I'm pretty sure I can hit fucking fucking hole in it somewhere. I don't know where they are. Okay, let's explore this downstairs. It seems like there's a lot to bum around in. <laughs> Look what a glorious, lovely day it is out there. And here I am. Oh, I love that. That looks really cool. See, we did have some heavy rain the other weekend, so I don't know what that's done here. Ooh, love that shirt. So if that fridge slash freezer was, I imagine it would be down here. Damn, son. Nature. But at this moment, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just enjoying the hike, yo. So happy, spoopy, haunted hike, yo, everybody. Is that one of the baths that's fallen through? Jesus. There's a toilet. There's a. Ah, watching. <laughs> this is sparkling. Why? Are you, why? I want to graffiti a toilet on a wall. 
What happened? What? Oh, this is where this is where you would fish for the fish, probably. Yeah, this would be the pool with them in. R.I.P. Fishies. R.I.P. There is just a knob end. A knob end. That that's it. Oh, I like that. That looks so cool. I love that. <laughs> this right here would be the entrance way where you would come in your car, and then. What usually would happen is you would park your car in these areas here, and then you'd go up the stairs into the room that is above them. Um, but obviously they've, they've become a dumping ground. <laughs> and uh, then it got changed into a restaurant. Um, I'm look enjoying looking through all the random bits and bobs, but I'm just generally confused by some of it. I'm gonna guess this would be a change machine. Let's have a look in the entrance thing. Using the cool gadgets and gizmos. Just looking at these windows here. Oh, I keep tripping on everything. Clumsy. They just look so spooky. <laughs> but it's just because there's no light up there. It's totally fine. So we're just going to scan the perimeter a little bit because. There might be some other bits and bobs, like offices or something. So these are stairs that I was talking about. You go up there, and that's the rooms that I was just in. And this is where you'd park your car. Obviously. Wait. I guess I just blocked them off. Ooh, bold. People burned the vending machine. No! Oh, so this would have been a sign. I guess this would have been the entrance way. Oh, it's kind of marshy in here. Kind of marshy. <laughs> so one place I haven't checked out yet is this spiraling staircase, if it's still in one piece. So we're gonna go through, back through this door and over the little archway thingy and see what is down there, which probably isn't much. I think it's just the entrance way. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, they made the cement, so that's okay. It's not the first abandoned spiral staircase that I've been down. Excuse me, vines. Excuse me. Pardon moi. Looks like a boiler room. Can we get some Freddy Krueger? As long as there's no wild bulls or spiders, that's really all I care about. Yep, yeah, just looks like a boiler room. There's where I just came now. Cobwebs. Looks like an electric pylon. That's where I just came down. Standing on the bed, standing on the bed. You can watch somebody bathe as you're in the bed. <clears throat> Boy. So I guess this is a good place to do an outro. I've had a real blast today. It's a shame that there isn't as much furniture as there should be left behind, uh, but it was damn fun to wander around and have that. <laughs> 
before I saw her room, I was generally just like kind of very happy, happy Halloween <laughs> act. Um, but I've had a really good time today, mainly because I've been hiking for a while. And I always wait for summer to be over because it's hot and sweaty and you don't want to deal with bugs when you're hiking. But it's really fun to get back in it. So if you like this Haikyuu Halloween and you want to see more of it, become part of the Tail Squad and join the Patreon down there because that helps fund amazing things like this and also continues the awesome shit that I do, which is the Haikyuu's and all the other crazy adventures that I do in Japan. So become part of the Tail Squad with all the different not safe work rewards, which some of the not safe rewards are being posted from here. So arigato, happy Halloween 2023 Haikyuu and thank you very much for watching today Tail Squad. I am Shivers. This has been a Haikyuu Halloween and I'm trying not move because the bed's probably gonna break. Fuck it out. What am I doing? And also this is shag carpet. Shag carpet. <laughs> so arigato Tail Squad. See you on the next one. Woo! Haikyuu Halloween. Gonna break the bed. I'm gonna break the bed. Alright, just for you, Tail Squad, I am literally gonna walk down this hallway in the dark. <laughs> I lied. It's still spoopy. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Future Shiv, and as I was editing, I might have found something. So let's take a look at it. So I came from there. I went down there. I've checked all the rooms down here, and it's kind of about lunchtime. Did you see it? So, something that also happened at this time is my sound went out of sync with my video. That's a bit sussy backer. Of course, after noticing this, I did go back and check the footage, but I didn't see anything else. If you see anything spoopy, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Happy Halloween, Tail Squad!